Hello guys, this is another fictionalhead.com quick tutorial. Um, today's subject is for getting artifacts out of small images to enlarge them. It won't make it photo perfect or anything, but it does help dramatically. Or to just generally clean up a photo that's got way too much compression, like say somebody saved it as a JPEG and didn't realize what level, and it just looks real nasty. Um, we're going to be using this photo of this guy about to get kicked in the face playing soccer, but I only grabbed it because it uses red, and red um, is a really uh, offensive color when it comes to JPEG compression. It tends to look the worst. Uh, I can tell you already though with this tutorial, it's going to be one that you're going to want to do for yourself because since the video is compressed on YouTube, the ability for you to see the compression when I do it is probably pretty low. But I can tell you that if you try the steps on a photo of your own, you should have quite a lot of success and be able to tell the difference. Whereas if you just watch me do it, you probably won't be able to. That being said, the tip here is to take your photo, and a lot of times your photo is just going to be an RGB or CMYK. Um, another side tip is that you usually want to edit your photo in RGB because then all of your, um, whoops, all of your... Uh, filters if you use filters or um, layer modes and things like that are going to work correctly in RGB whereas in CMYK a lot of those are disabled. But today the mode we're going to be using is lab. If you switch your photo to lab color and then come over here to your channels palette um, I have mine docked right with my layers if not it's under window channels you'll see that your photo has been broken into the full composite lab and then the L of lab lightness the A and the B channels which are your uh, color and contrast but you don't see them as that when you have them broken out individually um, when you do this trick you're essentially leaving this contrast data alone for your uh, your photograph so this is like the details around people's eyes and things like that and then your A and your B are where the color information is stored and if you look closely you can see all your little JPEG artifacts and stuff here which is what really makes the image look nasty so with this tip you take um, you highlight both the A and B channels by clicking on them with uh, shift A and B and you'll see the color pop in in this kind of weird inverted sense and then do filter blur Gaussian and load it up um, you can see in your preview window I mean don't go crazy even though this can produce a cool kind of like watercolor effect just turn it up just enough to where you can see that the artifacts in your image are kind of smoothed out and missing and then once you do that just hit OK and then if you check your lab full composite channel you'll see that a lot of those imperfections have been smoothed out and then all you have to do is do image mode RGB and now you're back in RGB mode and a lot of that compression that you're having that you were having problems with in here should be gone because most of that stuff occurs on a color level not a contrast level um, there are still a lot of little jaggies around uh, the more prominent parts which you know that'll happen but this does help immeasurably when sizing up a uh, image that was super tiny so like let's start with say this image wasn't this big let's make it you know 200 or some photo that a client has sent you that is way too tiny to use but you need it much bigger if you do image image size and you blow it up to something bigger and then do this trick where you do mode lab and then you whoops blur these two slightly not anymore because sizing it up um, already blurred it considerably but blur it just a tiny bit and then maybe even under your lightness channel you do some uh, sharpening. I'll just do sharpen more real quick. Do that. And then go back to lab and then flip your mode over to RGB. This will look a million times better than if you just resized it up and didn't do anything to it. So uh, 
that's your quick tip. If you have any questions about it, um, check the bar down below. I should have a link to this tutorial on my site where you can ask me a question and it'll shoot me an email through the little form thing and you should get a response super quick because I'm usually around my computer with email. Or if you prefer to do the Twitter thing, you can follow me on Twitter at fictionalhead or if you have a question about this tutorial, simply tweet D02 and I'll know that you're referring to this tutorial and ask me the question and if it's something short, I should be able to get your response. Hope it was helpful and good luck resizing photos that shouldn't probably be used in the first place, but we all know that that happens. So that's it. Bye.